Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. And uh, this one is going to be an interesting one, not only because it's Town Hall 10, but also because it has kind of some offset air defenses to a certain extent at least. So we're looking at kind of types of attacks that are not your traditional bow laloon that we uh, that we see as the majority of Town Hall 10 three stars. These attackers, um, one Town Hall 9 and two Town Hall 10s, had to kind of use a more innovative, creative plan. And I think that's what we're gonna start seeing more at Town Hall 10 as base building adapts. So it's very interesting to take a look at, um, at how the plan progresses with kind of a different type base. Um, I'm gonna be showing the scout attack and the two Town Hall 10 attacks on it, and we'll see the progression to get that three star. I'm not gonna be drawing anything out in you doodle because they no longer sponsor me and that was a joke i'm just kidding uh that's kind of the joke i always make is because i uh, give you do you doodle shout outs that they're sponsoring me uh, but they're not and uh, the reason we're not going into you doodle is because the scout attack kind of explains what the plan was so i don't really have to draw it out for you guys um you can see it pretty easily through the scout attack and um while we're on the subject of scout attacks, where this first one goes, uh, first of all, good job to the Town Hall 9s uh, making it so they had scout attacks by clearing all those Town Hall 9s. Uh, we'll take a look at the war as soon as we back out from this attack. You guys will see kind of an overview of it. But um, there's two different types of scout attacks, really, at Town Hall uh, 9 going up for the Town Hall 10. There is the... The scout attack that just kind of drops down lava hounds to get in there, test for air traps, drops hogs to test for giant bombs, just really tries to expose every part of the base, uh, Teslas, giant bombs, CC troops, um, air traps, even spring traps, you know, all that stuff tries to expose it. That's one type, but this is the other type where it actually goes with a plan. Um, typically a Town Hall 9 and a Town Hall 10, if they can, will get together and talk about what the Town Hall 10 wants to do and the Town Hall 9 will try out that plan. Um, it's still with his Town Hall 9 troops, of course, so he's not gonna have a chance at a three star, but it tests out the basic AI pathing um, and how it might work. So as you can see here, we have a balloon and a lava hound in the CC. The Teslas are going to be uh, in the corners. I believe they will be revealed. Um, right there, Baby Dragon pops that first Tesla off to the left. The other two Teslas are uh, between the king and the queen altars there. Then there's one on the other side right over here. So those are the Tesla locations, and there's a bunch of giant bombs in this compartment as well right in here. I think there's like three or four right there. So um, very heavy in that compartment. But you can see the plan was basically to do kind of a short queen walk, enter with a bowler kill squad, come in there, probably wanted one of the infernos and to get a little bit deeper, but because he's a Town Hall 9, of course, he can't do that. And then Baby Dragon's on the rest of the base. Now, there is quite a bit of air def um, air targeting stuff down there. There's Archer Towers, there's Teslas, there's Expos. So the Kill Squad's going to have to bite some of that off because Baby Dragons, especially at Town Hall 10, are not powerful enough to take out a whole section of the base, really, if they have to go deep in because there's the... Uh, uh, trash buildings and uh, the bigger the chunk of the base the harder it is for baby dragons because they not only have to take out the defenses but also the trash buildings in the area which makes it much harder so that being said let's take a look at the uh, the next attack on this base the first town hall 10 three-star attempt uh, you can see here good job to mariana trench getting the win uh, they just had a few more town hall 10 three stars i believe was the difference uh, but a very hard fought war let's go ahead and take a look at vengeance who was the uh, the first attacker um the first town hall 10 attacker i should say to take on this base and i think the problem with this is i don't know exactly what to call it it's kind of the presupposition of spells, and that sounds really stupid and complicated, but basically it's using spells on your kill squad and taking a lot of the power out of your kill squad, assuming you're going to get stuff that you're not. Basically, you can see he has a lot of baby dragons, he has two jumps, um, not a whole lot of power, and he has to go through a very dense part of the base there get that inferno tower taken out and typically you want to make sure that you invest enough in your kill squad that it can get its job done and the more you invest it's exponentially going to get you more value 
um, because things kind of coincide, they tank for each other. It's not just a one-to-one, -one. you get exponentially more value for every additional bowler. So you can see here, um, comes in, has the two jumps, but the second jump, by not bringing the rage, almost negated the need for the jump or a freeze or whatever because he would have had um, more stuff to take that jump had he invested more in his kill squad. But instead, he invested a lot in just the jump spells themselves, which were able to transport the troops, but not enough troops because he invested a lot in the baby dragons. Basically, he didn't invest enough in firepower, and that's the biggest mistake you can make at Town Hall 10 because really the only thing these Town Hall 10 bases respect, especially the mid to high level uh, Town Hall 10 bases, is, this is kind of a mid-level base. Um, the only thing they respect is going to be power. It's hard to finesse your way through a Town Hall 10 base, especially at this point in the game where it's not um, super easy to three-star at Town Hall 10. You're going to need a pretty powerful strategy. And you can see here the Baby Dragons just peter out. You need to take out a big part of that base for the Baby Dragons to be able to do some work, especially when you have such a uh, an air-heavy part of the base on the bottom here, which he's trying to take out with the baby dragons. So let's take a look at the attack that got the job done, talk about how it was different. And the main thing you're gonna notice is uh, Cooper here bringing many more bowlers. I think five extra bowlers, and instead of investing that heal, he says, okay, hold on a second. The heal didn't really get him any value um, on that last attack because the Inferno was still up. So maybe bring a freeze. I almost might have done that. Um, bring a freeze and a heal, but then that takes away two of your rages. So it leaves you with only one rage left, which isn't really the best idea either because those rages are essential inside the base for keeping your troops moving. So he just decides to kind of ignore that Inferno Tower, not try to freeze around it, not try to heal around it, just power his way through. And sometimes that's the best solution. Um, the opener is good. I think uh, both attackers had that down the first two with that queen walk, pretty good value there. Um, everything moving uh, up to the top of the base has a bit of a wall breaker fail, but he makes his way through uh, despite that. Right there, um, nice little baby dragon on the Tesla there. I think Vengeance might have done that as well. Uh, there's the jump. He has two jumps again, but he's investing so much more in that kill squad, and it's going to get him exponentially more value. Now, you might think, um, okay, but he has less invested in the air attack. Um, for his balloons, but the balloons are only effective, it's all contingent on the kill squad taking stuff out. So when in doubt, invest in your kill squad, bring a little bit less of uh, defense targeting or baby dragons or whatever you have, bring a little bit less of that and go more for the kill squad. You can see he gets so much more value. And one thing that was awesome is the way he dropped those jumps, his troops stayed away from the inferno. So the boulders stayed up longer because they weren't being targeted by that second inferno over on the right side. He kind of leaves that area alone for a while and by the time his troops make their way over it's just the inferno and the two wizard towers which really can't do much damage to his queen um, on their own there needs to be like an expo or something which there's not so a very good job taking out the essentials of the base um, and doing it very quickly and powerfully and leaving that um the wizard tower inferno compartment up because on its own it's not that effective against his troops so plenty of uh stuff to get the rest of the base taken out i think the moral of this um base destruction video which i always try to leave you guys with is town hall 10 go for the power go heavy on the kill squad when in doubt and uh just don't over try, don't over finesse your way through the base and uh, get those infernos taken out as quickly as possible there are certain parts of the base that you can kind of avoid because they won't end up being that strong against you if nothing around them is up as well. So think about what parts of the base you can afford to uh, to leave up towards the end of the attack. Sometimes it's going to be a bunch of cannons if you have balloons left up at the end. Sometimes, like in this case, it's the inferno and the splash damage when you have a full health queen who can, uh, who can shoot through that pretty easily. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisectatron out.